Tau thousand astronomical units was a proposed unmanned space probe that would go to a distance of 1000 astronomical units 1000 astronomical units from the Earth and Sun by NASA JPL in 1987 using tested technology one scientific purpose would be to measure the distance to other stars via stellar parallax. Studies continued into 1990, working with a launch in the 2005–2010 timeframe. It was a proposed nuclear electric rocket spacecraft that used a 1 MW fission reactor and an ion drive with a burn time of about 10 years to reach a distance of 1,000 astronomical units in 50 years. The primary goal of the mission was to improve parallax measurements of the distances to stars inside and outside the Milky Way, with secondary goals being the study of the heliopause, measurements of conditions in the interstellar medium, and via communications with Earth tests of general relativity. One of the tasks envisioned for Tau would be a flyby of Pluto. A Pluto flyby was achieved in 2015 by the New Frontiers program mission New Horizons. Some of the instruments proposed for the design included a 1.5-meter telescope for observations and a 1-meter telescope for laser communication with Earth. After launch, it would accelerate to about 106 kilometers per second, about 22.4 astronomical units per year over 10 years, using xenon as propellant and a nuclear fission reactor for power. Topic. Description and mission profile Payload module 5,000 kg mass including a 10-watt laser transponder plus 1-meter aperture laser communications telescope capable of transmitting data at 20 kilobits per second at 1,000 astronomical units, and a 1.5-meter astrometric telescope plus other experiments propulsion module 4000 kg dry mass including 10 4.45 newton thrust ion propulsion clustered in groups of 5 and fired paired for 2 years each the total specific mass of ion thrusters power processor units etc would be 4 kg kwe 1 MWE nuclear reactor plus shield plus radiator 6000 kg mass or 12.5 kg KWE specific mass the 25000 kg gross launch mass including 10000 kg of xenon propellant tau spacecraft would have been launched into a low earth orbit by the space shuttle in 2005 to 2010 once deployed, a central boom would have telescoped the three main units listed above to a total 40-meter length to separate the payload from the nuclear reactor. The ion propulsion, xenon propellant module would have been positioned close to the center of gravity, its 250 km per second exhaust velocity ion engines providing an acceleration of 0.35 mm per square second. Tau would have attained Earth escape velocity in 250 days in a spiraling orbit, followed by solar system escape speed 700 days later. The Tau payload module would have separated from the rest of the spacecraft after 10 years of constant thruster firing at a distance of 12 billion kilometers, 80 astronomical units, as the xenon propellant tanks would have been depleted. Tau would have reached 200 astronomical units in 15 years after launch, 400 astronomical units in 23 years, 600 astronomical units in 32 years, 800 astronomical units in 41 years and the full 1,000 astronomical units in half a century. Even so, it would have traversed less than 0.4% of the 4.3 light years to Alpha Centauri, the nearest star. Topic. See also Innovative Interstellar Explorer NASA 2003 Interstellar Probe NASA 1999 Interstellar Probe Generic 
Cosmic Distance Ladder 87269-2000-0067 has an aphelion over 1000 plus O and orbits the Sun. Related to Solar System Departure Interstellar Travel Spacecraft Escaping the Solar System category Artificial Objects Escaping the Solar System Nuclear Power in Space <laughs>